In this week's video, we're going to be checking out one of the most unique yet weirdest van conversions I think you've ever seen. Help! <laughs> Help! <laughs> This is Darren. A few years ago, he bought this ex-ambulance Fiat Ducato van and decided to convert it into one of the most epic van conversions I think I've ever seen. It is a van, but it's not a van. Join me in this video as I share with you the story behind the conversion and the full experience of using this quirky camper. That is a velociraptor staring at me in the middle of the night. I'm gonna be having bloody nightmares in here. <laughs> and it roars. What, in terms of the uh, exhaust? It's got not dinosaur noise. There's a button on the side. <laughs> Can you show me? Yeah. <laughs> I can see this one. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> that is the... Can I press it? <laughs> <laughs> That's the best thing I think I've ever seen in my life. Where's the speaker for that? It's all underneath. Yeah, because it sounds like it's underneath. It's external, and then you've got that. <laughs> oh my god! Darren, you are absolutely <laughs> bonkers. There's audio system, so... This isn't the camper, this is just a normal car. <laughs> <laughs> you had far too much spare time. I genuinely think these are some of the best vehicles. Look, look at this! There's no way your kids are getting out of that if they needed to, is there? So this was kind of like a, a, a tribute sort of to the Jurassic Park 2 RV. In the back it's the Raptor cage, and in the front it's the command centre. I've never seen a van with carpet in. I put that in for you. Oh, did you? Why? <laughs> why? 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 Why did you put it in just for me? It's not really like comfy. <laughs> <laughs> so don't worry. What do you think I am? A wimp? <laughs> what did you have down here before then? Nothing. Just... No, it's just that grey floor. <laughs> um, this is the green yeah, floor. I'm going to get it covered in crap. That's all right. It's not even like a van though. It is a van, but it's not a van. So I assume tonight this is going to be where I'm sleeping. It pulls out both sides. Yeah. This stays in the middle. Right. And then you've got the extra. What, that, that drop drops down. That oh, rests okay. on these. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then you've got those two extra bits that sit there. It's nice and comfy. We've had yeah. two two adults and a dog yeah. in it. Tranquilizer <laughs> dance. They're Any... not dancers, eh? You're joking. <laughs> oh my god! You got a gun or something? <laughs> I, I was waiting, I was looking for the can, I couldn't find a, yeah. a suitable one. And that's sort of like some of the stuff which, the history, of, so you can see this little smart car. Yeah, oh, that was that the first vehicle, the smart car? That was uh, the one we were doing while we were doing the Jeep. Yeah, and your neighbours are alright with it, all these. <laughs> <laughs> they probably haven't got a choice, have they? They probably wake up thinking, what the hell is Darren building today? This is perfect, because I can do a bit of video editing tonight. <laughs> Does that work? Yeah. Yeah, really? It's a smart TV. Nice. Um, that works. You got there's a laptop panel there as yeah. well. So when you bought it, what condition was this in? This was an ambulance. It, yeah, it had everything still in it except the structure. Yeah. It didn't have the structure, but it had everything else, and we've literally stripped it all out. These panels are actually the original from the ambulance. Oh really? This is the the table. Yeah. Okay, and it's just on a cheapy <laughs> stand. Does the job. Yeah. How long did this whole thing take you? I know you say you're still doing adding bits and changing bits as you always are with van conversion. Three years, three years, but we stopped for quite a bit. Yeah. Because then I moved on to doing that one. Yeah. And then we ended up. Are you one of these blokes doing... that starts a project, gets halfway through, then yeah, that's what I'm like. <laughs> I get bored. Yeah. I, I don't do the details. Yeah. I got the vision. I know what yeah. I want, and then when it comes to the detailing, I get bored. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, I need to move on, What's and next? I want someone else to do the yeah. detailing. That's what I want. <laughs> so this one, it's just a bit stiff. Yeah. Yeah, and then that can that will drop down out the way, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've got to see it all in action. Oh, in jail. <laughs> it's just moving. It's moved. Yeah. <laughs> Do you actually ever put it down or not? Yes. <laughs> Help! Help! <laughs> I've never, honestly, genuinely ever seen a vehicle like this in my life. I think it's awesome. <laughs> I think it's awesome. I'm thinking the bloody brilliant. This goes on the top. You sure it's going to hold my weight? Two adults. <laughs> yeah. And a dog. <laughs> what do you do if you go... I know you only go away for a night, don't you? So I was going to say you're closing A couple things. of nights we've got. We use that. Yeah, I suppose. Up there is still empty. We were planning on putting some storage units up here, but... Once you add more storage, it just makes it feel a bit more... That's it. Uh, imagination yeah. is never comfy. 
So. <laughs> I've not heard that before, I like that. Imagination is never comfy, I'm nicking that one. <laughs> you said there's a, an ambulance uh, siren. Yeah, it's in the back. I'll, I'll Does it try work? and get it. I used to. <laughs> I haven't played with it for months. <laughs> Mike got down the road road's going, <laughs> Jurassic Park coming through. <laughs> Real quick, I wanted to let you guys know about today's video sponsor and stop one second before you, yes you click off, hear me out because today's video sponsor is HelloFresh. It is a product and a service that I've used so much, especially over the last couple of months. HelloFresh is a meal kit subscription service and honestly, if you know me, you know I'm a diabolical cook. The fact that every single week I've got a box that arrives with different ingredients, different flavors and textures and recipes and meals that I've never cooked and that I've never eaten before. Today on the menu, creamy broccoli and pea tikka masala. Best thing about it, it's a rapid recipe, which means it takes 20 minutes to cook. They've recently created a brand new app, which I absolutely love. I can go on the app right now and choose from hundreds of different recipes for next week. We have got pepper crusted venison steak. Personally, not a fan of that. A little bit of a fussy eater, but one that sticks out to me is the pesto salmon on croute. Sounds delightful. There's gonna be a link in the description if you guys wanna download the HelloFresh app. Highly recommend, it was convenient, easy, and you can get delicious looking meals like this every single week. Make sure to use the discount code in the description box below because you can get 60% off your first box and then 25% off the next two months. Big thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video because without them, these videos are not possible. Can't lie, I'm a little bit nervous about driving this for a couple of reasons. One, it's obviously much bigger than my van in terms of height, length, width is exactly the same. And also, although it's an automatic van, it's a little bit different than any other automatic I've seen before. I don't know what that beeping noise is. Uh... <laughs> okay, that's neutral. Where's flipping first gear? Shit. That's second gear. That's reverse. <laughs> One, that's that's it. Ah, oh, there we go. Right, off we pop. I think this van is from 2011 and it's done over 245,000 miles, which is ridiculous. Ah, oh, I'm so used to changing gear. I wanna go like that. <laughs> There's a lot of noises and pops and bangs and rattles going on in here. Oh! oh Norwich, you've got some narrow country roads. <laughs> this suspension, oh my god! All this road. <laughs> We're literally like this. Oh my god! <laughs> it is so bouncy. <laughs> Feels like we're on a bloody roller coaster. Whoa! <laughs> Flipping Nora! There's me going to my clutch, which isn't there. This should be a breeze to pull out in. Let's just wait until the lorry comes past, otherwise, we're going to be a splat Jurassic Park van and two blokes in the front. Oh, sh! Ah, oh, no gear change! Because it's obviously my first time driving this, I'm kind of forgetting what the van actually looks like on the outside. Every time a lorry or a bus is coming past me, it's just going, boom. Here we go, hold on, Ben. Lorry coming past. Oof, there's two. Whoa, 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 whoa. I feel like this van must have had a very exciting life. The fact that back in the day, it was an ex-ambulance van, and now, a couple of years ago, it's been converted into what it is right now. Oh, oh my God! First gear is just that. Literally just that. Neutral, reverse, first. <laughs> I don't quite get it. I always get the question about park-ups. Will, where do you find your park-ups? How do you know where to go? Well, my good old trusty friend, Park for Night. We're obviously in Great Yarmouth right now. I go on the app here, have a look around the location that we're in, and uh, I must have favorited this spot last night because this is where we're gonna go and hopefully, fingers crossed, potentially stay tonight. It says it's a parking spot and all day parking costs four pound. 
The only thing is, it's got no reviews, so I can't tell how good or bad it is, or if there's any doggers about. So uh, we'll head there and see what it's like. The T-Rex is on the move. Oh my God. <laughs> There's all these wonderful light switches up here, spotlights, driving lights, zombie lights, I have no idea what zombie lights are, roof lights, side lights, and LED light bar. Don't know if it works, or I've just flashed the person in front of me. Sorry, mate. Apparently our park up for the night is somewhere around here. It's quite nice. Okay, where the hell are we? That definitely is not that somebody's house. That probably makes complete sense why there was no reviews left on the spot I'd chosen because either it doesn't exist or it's just impossible to find. Could be down here, maybe? Mm, no, otherwise I'm gonna get a farmer screaming and shouting at me in the morning. Right, let's just park here and try and find somewhere else. All the other park ups are right by the coast. Small car park? Nope, this isn't a small van. Need something big, please. I think tonight is gonna actually have to be where we've just come from. A coastal park up because they're just scattered all along the coast there. I think it would be rude not to, wouldn't it, really? When in Norwich and by the coastline, after it took us a bit of time to actually find this park up, this makes perfect sense. Parking right next to the beach. Welcome to tonight's very, very unique crib. Safe to say, this is not like any vehicle that I've ever stayed in before. So, I know we had a look at the van very quickly earlier, but uh, just another quick run through to show you what's going on inside, because as I said, it's very unique and it's very different. Tonight, obviously, I'm sleeping nowhere else other than the Raptor cage, I love this. There's different sections of the van. The command center that is all here with this map and these lighted up LEDs. We've got some tranquilizer darts. So in case somebody starts snoring tonight and just go ping, and they should go straight to sleep. We've got a telephone to order a Domino's. Hello mate, double pepperoni, large pizza and chips please. And we've also got a monitor slash TV, which if I wanna watch Jurassic Park later, I can. We've got three monitors up here and two speakers. I think the speakers work, but the monitors are there just for show and why not? When you build something like this, some things have just got to be for show. In the boudoir, we set it up earlier. Quite looking forward to it because it's actually nice. I think this van is going to be quite warm. We turned on the heater earlier and it was lovely. The Urbis Batcher, not a heater that I've personally used before, but looking forward to actually staying in a warm, cozy van. We've obviously got a big poster of Chris Pratt. So tonight I can just be stargazing at my man himself. I'm loving this poster up here because I think this must be from Jurassic Park 1. And uh, personally for me, that's my personal favorite. That is a Velociraptor staring at me in the middle of the night. I'm gonna be having bloody nightmares in here. This wooden gate actually drops down. So then you've got a separate bedroom area, kind of, and also your separate containment area. And one thing that I love is he's actually got a Velociraptor containment sign. Help! As we then come into the containment area, it's very different in here. And uh, it's not gonna be for everyone, that's for sure. Darren, that wasn't me. I promise you that. Tiny little sink, which I think runs on USB. We've got a little bit of storage and stuff. I'm not gonna pull that apart because I saw him do that earlier and I thought, I'm not gonna be touching that. I can't get over all of the details. That map is just brilliant. All of the different lights going on, the darts, and then all this kind of memorabilia. It's bloody fantastic. So we thought it would be rude not to go for an evening beach stroll, considering we're literally parked up less than 100 metres away from this glorious UK beach. It is absolutely disgusting out here. The wind is howling. The rain is going to be coming. If anyone's thinking of relocating to England, I wouldn't. As you can see, it's absolutely heaving with people. <laughs> it's so busy right now, we can barely find a spot on the beach. We're going to do a bit of rock skipping. Isn't that what it's called? Something like that? Skimming. skimming, yeah, skimming. <laughs> oh. To be fair, this would be an unbelievable beach if the weather was out, but it's not. That was two. That was one. These aren't quite skimming rocks. Oh my God. 
If this video gets 5,000 likes, I'll jump in the water tomorrow morning, even though you won't have seen it yet. So maybe in another video, we're going to get ourselves a fish and chips from Dogger's Place. Tonight's park up, not only is pretty decent because we're so close to the beach, honestly, it's lovely, but also because there's nobody else here apart from a VW Transit van, I think, which seems to have parked in the bushes. The beeping is back. It's just what this van comes with, I think. I can't even see my bloody seatbelt. Are you joking? It says it's closed. I'm not even joking. Really? <laughs> oh no! Shut up, man, please, shut up. <laughs> God almighty, that's annoying. Oh shit. <laughs> that's the wrong gear. <laughs> Automatic van. I want myself one of these. I'm just pulling over a second to have a look what fish and chips are nearby and you would not believe that every single fish and chip shop is closed literally every single one one two three four five six i'm not from the sea i'm not a sea man a sea person but this is ridiculous it's bloody closed it, it says it was open online and it's closed oh my god what is wrong with norwich Nothing, lovely place, but the fish and chip shops need to be open. I was almost resorting to a kebab, but I found a place called Brilliant Fish and Chips. So it's in that general direction. So fingers crossed, it says closing soon. It closes at 8.30, oh my God, that's 20 minutes. Right, we better go ASAP Rocky. Never give in, never surrender is my motto, because it looks like fish and chips is open. What about this? for a setup. Look at the size of that fish and chips. We got mayonnaise, it's gotta be done with the fish and chips. We got ketchup, we got bottled water. I'm in my office. <laughs> this is unbelievable. Oh, I'm so bad hunger. Mm. Nothing better than the greasy, salty fish and chips. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. <laughs> Went down the wrong hole. <laughs> No, oh, so good. I feel like I've got to finish it. Oh. <laughs> I've got another few mouthfuls of my fish and chips left, but I think I've outdone myself. I'm absolutely stuffed. The heater is working brilliantly because it's so warm in here and I can't seem to change the temperature on it. So tonight, hopefully, I should sleep like an absolute baby. One thing I realised I haven't done is actually tested if I can lie down on bed properly. So I'm gonna have to sleep like this tonight with my head <laughs> squashed against the uh, the wall <laughs> and my legs exactly the same on the other side. But because I'm a loner, I'm a lonely, lonely man, I'll be all right sleeping sideways, which to be fair, might actually be better. I'm ready for bed. I'm exhausted. I've got to say, it's always a bit weird sleeping in other people's beds, other people's camper vans, and just other people's general camping setups. But I think, this one might be the most weird. I've got to say, I think out of all the vehicles that I've slept in over the last few weeks, this has to have been the best sleep that I've had. And look where I've woken up, inside a raptor cage. I tell you what, it's not every day you wake up in a vehicle like that and in a location quite like this. A massive shout out to Darren for showing us around some of the most weird, creative and genius vans I think I've ever seen. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to give the video a big thumbs up because it really helps. Make sure to subscribe. And as always, I'll catch you in next week's video.